We need to talk. The past eight months for me has not been easy and I bet I'm not the only one. There has been back pain, migraines, more back pain, the incident of January and so on and so on. But I have decided that this is the time where I say stop. I need to change something in my life and this is where I'm at right now. And if you're like me, then you better pay full attention now. When I tell people about my migraines, my back pains, whatever pain I might have, I always get the suggestion like, have you tried acupuncture? Have you tried this? Have you tried physiotherapy? Have you tried piercing your ear? Everything you can imagine. But no one has actually ever told me, have you tried changing your mindset? thing is that it's very easy to get stuck in a downward spiral and it really pulls you down and have you noticed that when you start to think in a negative pattern like in a, in a negative way it just feeds more negativity it's like it's easier to find thoughts that are negative that are actually positive i think you know what i mean and this is actually not bullshit. there is actually a scientific explanation to this, let me tell you. Your brain is actually really smart because once you start thinking in a negative way, your brain is actually rewiring itself to make that easier for you. So it kind of creates shortcuts because when you think in a negative way, the brain thinks that, aha, that is what you want. And that is what I'm gonna get you. The brain thinks that in order to survive, because you are apparently spending a lot of time thinking about negative things, the brain, wants to help you. In this case, maybe not so good. That is why it's actually easier to start to think about things in a negative way once you start it. It's not made up, it's actually something happening in your brain. But don't worry. You also have the power to change it. <sighs> Just as you can rewire your brain to think in a negative pattern, you can also rewire it to think in a more positive way. And there are a lot of benefits of having a positive mindset. So besides from the obvious effect is that, of course, you become a more positive person, you are going to be more happy and so on. But there are actually some real physical benefits of positive thinking. Listen to this. Increased lifespan, lower rates of depression, lower levels of distress. This is a good one for me. Greater resistance to the common cold, better physical well-being in general, better coping skills during hardships and time of stress. You will have better relationships with friends because you will make a better first impression and people are attracted to positivity. Well, the right kind of people, those kind of people that you actually want to have in your life. You'll be more confident and a positive way of thought lets you be more focused and concentrated. It actually says here that research has found a link between an upbeat mental state and improved health, including low blood pressure, reduced risk for heart disease, healthier weight, better blood sugar levels, and a longer life. Am I selling this to you or not? A lot of the tensions in your body actually comes from your mental state. So if you are stressed, if you easily think in a negative way, those thoughts are actually going to manifest over your entire body as pain. Well, it could at least. And I think that for me, it has. I mean, it's not like I would say that I'm a negative type of person. It's just that 
Once I started to get pain in my body, my brain kind of went with it and it's very easy to start panicking because the pain never goes away. So you get a migraine and you're dealing with that and then you have the back pain and then you have to deal with that and then you're doing work and then because your body's not functioning properly, you can't work as you would wish and then you start to think in a negative way pattern because you know it's just so hard life is hard sometimes it just is but it's important to recognize what's going on in your brain and stop it now it is time for the rewire part so how do we actually start to rewire our brain to think in a more positive way there are a couple of tricks to start with Look for the small things to be happy and grateful about. It could be the smallest things, like for example, really take your time and enjoy that cup of coffee or tea and be in the moment, enjoy the taste, enjoy the experience and be thankful that you are here right now and you are enjoying something that you like. Yummy. Animals always makes us feel better. There's no coincidence that animals are actually used at hospitals and to help people go through hard times. They help us to produce happy hormones and those are the things of course that is gonna help us feel better and think in a more positive way. So give whatever little fur ball or something without fur a little extra snuggle before you do anything else. And same thing here, just be in the moment. Or just enjoying the sunlight. We don't have a lot of sun here in Sweden, so whenever the sun comes out, we are really worshipping it, including Martin here. Just take a walk, listen to some of your favorite music that makes you happy and just enjoy the fresh air and the sun on your skin makes wonders. Or find something else around you that you usually just take for granted. There are so many small things around us that can make us feel feel grateful and happy <sighs> and you want to know something i actually started this uh challenge because i'm gonna challenge you as well but i started this a couple of days ago and i do feel the difference and i do feel the difference in my body it feels easier it feels easier to breathe and stuff has been happening the past week as well that has been extremely overwhelming business related stuff i can tell you that if it wasn't for the way that i practiced my thinking i would have been a wreck i was kind of a wreck but not nearly as much of a wreck i would have been without this way of thinking. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, we can't be positive all the time. Stuff's gonna happen. You are allowed to be angry, disappointed, whatever. But you can always find that little something in every situation. Like for example, I had this experience this past week and I call it an experience because it is something that has taught me something. And life lessons are so valuable and those are the type of things that will make us grow in the end even if it was extremely stressful and i was sad i was angry i was mad i was extremely mad but in the end everything turned out to be more than fine and i have this extremely valuable life lesson with me and i will treasure that for sure so even if something seems very hard just try to find something positive in that moment or that situation and it's gonna help you lie to yourself if you have to just try to find something <sighs>
And you know what? Positivity is actually contagious. Not in this case, apparently. But if you start to think in a positive way, people around you will also start to think in a positive way. There is a really good quote that I like from a very wise man. Be the change you want to see in the world. So if you start, then others will follow. And what happens when the world gets a little bit more positive? Well, I think you know. The first step for me when I started this challenge was that I needed to rethink my daily patterns. Like the first thing I did in the morning was to pick up my phone and start reading the news. Or I had another like blog where it's like blog gossip. So stupid, but I was getting more and more into this and it was just a ton of negativity so I just stopped that because the news today is just bad news all the time and if you feel like you are getting drawn into that negativity and almost like depression because I can feel very depressed over how the world works today just stop it don't read it just block it out for a second or a couple of days or a week or a month if you need to that is totally fine I had to do that and I feel so much better Whenever I feel the urge to actually go back and start reading the news a little bit or that other uh, blog, I've scrolled through it, you know, really quick. And as soon as I just go to that page, I get this black lump of bad emotions in my body and I can feel it attaching to me. Those are the exact type of feelings that you need to listen to because it's your body trying to tell you something. If you get that lumpy, black, drowning feeling when you read something or do something, then don't do it. Eliminate that from your life completely, at least for a while, but it has to be done. Music to me is very, very powerful. And once I feel depressed or sad or angry, or down just in general the best way to make you feel better is actually to put on a really 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 good song that just makes you burst out with happy emotions I have a couple of favorite songs right now that I think you should try to listen to and I will link them in the description box below it's a band called the 1975 and they have some amazing songs you know I'm a huge fan of the entire band but they have some really amazing songs that just makes you feel happy in one second. One other thing you can do is actually to create a playlist where you just gather a bunch of songs that you know is gonna get you in a better mood. And with that said, hopefully I have convinced you to do this challenge together with me. Starting today, I've actually done a couple of days, but you can start today, you can start any day you want, 21 days. We're gonna think in a more positive way. We're gonna rewire our brains together. So if you are in on this challenge together with me, I want you to comment down below. I'm in. And I also want you to give your best tips on how to turn a negative thought around music or just cuddling with your pet or whatever it could be. Just hand out some good tips and tricks and let's try to be that positive support to one another. And also don't forget to comment your other challenge mates comments and just let's bomb each other with positive energy. The last trick I want to give you before leaving this video is to use your breathing. It's an extremely powerful tool. So whenever you feel stressed and you need to rewire your brain or just turn that negative thought around, just stop. Breathe in through your nose and exhale through your mouth and that should be a long exhale and then you do that maybe three times that actually lowers your pulse and it will reduce the stress level and it will help you to think more clearly that has helped me tremendously the past couple of days so that is something that I think you should definitely try out and with that said Martin is leaving 
I wish you the best of luck. We're gonna do this together, remember that. So please give me some updates from now and then. I am posting more about this like on a daily basis on my private or personal Instagram page, which is called Selena's Place, or also sometimes on my regular Instagram page, which is just Selena Ryden. But if you wanna be part of this, like you need that daily boost, I definitely recommend you to uh, check out my personal page. Selena's place and I will see you there <clears throat> so there's no reason for you to not start at this moment right now don't wait we're gonna do this now if you're in leave a comment below and I will see you in the next video good luck to us all and let's see what happens I'm very excited about this much love to you guys bye